I am Javier Zalueta. I am uh, the Chief of Pulmonary Critical Care and Sleep Medicine at Mount Sinai Morningside, and I'm a Professor of Medicine at the Icon School of Medicine. Today we're going to talk about um, smokers and, and the risk of lung cancer. Um, I have been involved with lung cancer screening for over 20 years, and um, there's very good news about this topic. Uh, there's ways of uh, detecting lung cancer early um, when it can be cured. And, and I want to address these issues, uh, answering questions that, that you may have. Why should I have a lung cancer screening test and what test do you recommend? Smokers um, have an increased risk of lung cancer. It's the major risk factor for lung cancer. Lung cancer today, and for the past 50 years, um, has been diagnosed mainly in advanced stages because it doesn't produce symptoms while it's growing in the body. Uh, the, the, the lungs don't hurt, they don't produce pain, um, and the tumor can grow without, without noticing it. Uh, many years ago, in research that we pioneered um, with colleagues here at uh, Mount Sinai, we saw that by doing a chest CT scan with low dose of radiation every year in people who have risk of lung cancer, we can detect it before it becomes a late stage cancer. We can detect it when it's small, when it's in stage one, and still uh, curable with surgery. More than 80% of lung cancers, when they're detected in early stages, can be cured with surgery. So that is the objective of this test. And the test that we do, again, is a low-dose chest CT. And low-dose means that the radiation used for the test is lower than the conventional uh, CTs done for diagnosis uh, when, when somebody has a, um, a, a disease that requires a, a computed tomography of the test. So as I was saying, a, a chest CT scan is a test that with x-rays irradiating into your lungs, we can see the details of the chest and we can see the lung and little nodules that might appear that might be the precursors of a lung cancer. Um, the, the way uh, we, we run these programs is by selecting people who are at high risk and uh, we order the test. The test is very simple, very quick and, and we can detect if in the lung there's any abnormality that might be suspicious for a lung cancer. We've had plenty of experience over the past uh, 25 years or so um, that has helped us determine very easily without even a biopsy whether a nodule is highly suspicious or not. Does insurance cover the cost of a low-dose CT screening? Yes, um, for certain people at least in terms of risk. In 2013, the USPSTF, which is the US Preventive Services Task Force, issued a recommendation in favor of doing lung cancer screening with a low dose CT annually on people at high risk. And they determined or they, they defined people at high risk as those being of ages between 55 and 80 who had smoked 30 pack years of uh, cigarettes throughout their life, and I'll explain in a second what that means, and who, if they were a former smokers, they had quit less than 15 years prior to, to the screening. Pack years is calculated by multiplying the number of packs that one smokes in a day times the years that one has smoked. So for instance, if you smoke one pack a day and you've been a smoker for 20 years, you have a 20 pack year history of smoking. So the USPSTF recommended screening initially in 2013 to those individuals. They just expanded those criteria to lower the age to 50 years up to 80. And they've also reduced the amount of smoking to 20 pack years. So if you fall in that category, insurance companies have to pay for your lung cancer screening. Uh, it is covered in all individuals who meet those criteria. Many hospitals perform uh, these tests. Um, 
I would recommend that uh, you seek a hospital that has experience. Um, and, and the longer the experience, the better. Here at Mount Sinai, we've been doing lung cancer screening for over 20 years um, as part of research initially, and then as, as a very well-established uh, clinical program. Uh, the, the specialists here at Mount Sinai who do lung cancer screening have been pioneers in this uh, modality uh, and have been uh, recognized worldwide as, as the uh, leaders in, in this uh, specialty. So there are many other hospitals, uh, no doubt, but I would recommend that you uh, uh, seek uh, hospitals where they do, uh, they are specialists uh, that do lung cancer surgery with the most advanced techniques, that they have radiation therapy with the most advanced techniques, that they have multidisciplinary uh, lung cancer groups that discuss each case um, uh, between different specialists to determine what the best therapies are. In those places where you're going to have the best outcomes for lung cancer screening and if you should have a lung cancer for lung cancer treatment as well. The test is very simple, as I mentioned before. It is a it is done in, in, in less than a minute. It's really a quick scan through the chest. You lie on a bed and, and that goes through the, the, the scanner. Um, and while you, it goes through, you get uh, images of the chest and a radiation of the chest in, in, in just seconds. Um, and it's not painful at all. Nothing is injected, no contrast is used. It's just a test, uh, a very quick scan of the chest. Then it will be interpreted by the radiologist and, 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 and the results will become available um, later on. But the test itself is very quick and is, uh, is not painful at all. The report is usually available on the same day of, of the test. The radiologists uh, have a routine of looking through these uh, tests uh, on a daily basis. And uh, you should be able to, to get the results immediately. In, in places where you have electronic medical record systems, uh, usually the report is published in, that, in, that, in your EMR very quickly, um, that same day probably. So it shouldn't take more than a couple of days to have the results of this test. So how to interpret the test is very important. Um, it is important to know before you, you actually go to have a, a low-dose CT that a good percentage of individuals who have smoked, uh, who have basically lived and, and breathed air, with, which is not pure in many places, will have uh, scars in the lung, little scars from infections or from or from just inflammations, that can cause little nodules. Um, it is in some uh, studies, up to 20% of people who have a lung uh, CT will have lung nodules. Um, the good news is that the great majority of those nodules are not cancer. They're, they're as I said before, scans, uh, scars or, or, or old inflammation, things like that. So you should know that beforehand because what we do, the process that we follow is that when we see a nodule of certain size, and we usually use six millimeters as the limit, when it's greater than six millimeters, we will recommend coming back in three months to have another low dose CT to see if that nodule grows. Um, if it does grow, then our suspicion is, is uh, a little greater and we might uh, follow it closer or we might even uh, start thinking about doing a biopsy. But the great majority of patients will have no growth of those nodules, or sometimes they even disappear. If they don't grow, we just continue to follow them with, with repeated uh, low-dose CTs. Not very frequently. We will, from three months, we will skip to uh, nine months later, a total year after the first CT scan, uh, to look for growth. Um, again, most of these nodules do not grow. So you have to know when you're going to have a, your first low-dose CT that if they tell you, that you have to come back for another CT, you're still in, in, in a category of people with a, a low chance of having lung cancer. Most of those nodules are going to be negative, and, and we're just going to follow you uh, periodically um, until we confirm um, in, in, a, in maybe a, a year or two that there is no growth whatsoever of that nodule.
So a similar question, what to do with the, with the results once you receive them and what do they mean? I, I think I just answered that. Um, essentially, you're going to be told whether you have nodules in your chest, in your lungs, and uh, if these nodules are of certain size or a certain consistency, you're going to be given a recommendation, which can vary anywhere from having to come back in three months to have another uh, low-dose CT to having to come back uh, annually for your regular low-dose CT. But not every nodule requires a, a short-term follow-up. Um, there are many different types of nodules. Um, we've learned how to distinguish between the, the ones that are unlikely to be a tumor so therefore we just uh, follow them on a yearly basis um, or from those that might be have a higher chance of being a tumor in which case we do do short-term more short-term follow-ups but in and and then of course the great majority of people who undergo a low dose CT will not require any follow-up until the next annual low dose CT because they don't have nodules um, those are the kind of the possibilities that you will find in those results and you should uh, follow the recommendations of your uh, physician who has ordered the lung cancer screening. If you're told to see a doctor because of your results, does that mean that you have lung cancer? No. As we have been saying now for the past couple of questions, um, the great majority of people who have a lung nodule will not have lung cancer. However, there is a possibility that one of those nodules is a lung cancer. So you have to follow up the recommendations. Come back in three months, come back in six months, whatever they tell you to get your follow-up CT scan and have it done. And then we will know whether that's growing or not and whether that is unlikely or likely to be a cancer. Um, but again, reassurance, most of the times you are not at risk of having lung cancer. Those nodules are old, benign scars. And uh, once we determine that they don't grow, we will forget about them. How often should you have a low dose CT? The recommendation today is year, every year. Um, this might change in the future. Uh, it might change for certain people, depending on the risk factors. But today, um, the studies that have been done uh, were done with a yearly program. And uh, we recommend, um, and the USPSTF does too, yearly uh, screening with low-dose CT. Um, 